My first guest has been called many things. People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive, a Renaissance Man, one of TV's favorite actors, and a leading man on and off screen. Harry Hamlin <laughs> is one of Hollywood's longest working actors starring in dozens of TV shows. And in recent years, many fans fell in love with Harry watching his real life as the husband and father behind the made the women of his family, Lisa Renna, of course, starred in the Bravo series, The Real Housewife was Beverly Hills. And now Harry and Lisa are leaving the Housewives and Harry is starring in not one, but two new roles. One on the big screen in 80 for Brady and another on TV in the highly anticipated new AMC series, Anne Rice's Mayfair Witches, based on Anne Rice's horror fantasy trilogy. Harry plays Portland, the patriarch of the Mayfair family, where he leads a dynasty of powerful witches that have haunted for generations. Here's a sneak peek of this Sunday's episode. Oh. You're heartbroken, I know. I loved her too. But now your time has come. The 13th witch. She's different from the others. Oh. Sam Fam, please welcome three time Golden Globe nominee Harry Hamlin. I love and, this suit. Well, the thank you glasses, so much. The glasses, the sneakers, to top it off with a little pop pop. I love it's it. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, well, leave it to Lisa. Leave it to Lisa. That's right. Okay, <laughs> we pivoted there. Leave it to Lisa. I got to ask you I know that um, you've said to my producers, you don't want to speak for her about this departure from the Housewives series because it is her journey. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to talk about Oh, good, because I have many questions. I don't want to talk too much about it. There's other stuff I got to sell, All right, well, let me, right? Let me settle in here, because <laughs> okay. over the weekend, there was an interview, and it broke my heart reading this, because Lisa is just the epitome of joy in so many ways. She said that she was miserable filming Housewives. Um, she said that the show takes on a life of its own, and she went on to say there's a smear campaign that went on online against her. It was all very calculated, and it sounds like this was a decision she regretted, meaning going on the show, based on what I read in this interview, uh, the pain she feels right now. No, no, she never, she would never regret going on the show. This season was tough for her. Um, there was a lot of online baloney that was going on because uh, some of the cast members hired some people to discredit her. Um, so there were and, people hired to discredit her? Well, that's what we're, we've been told. I don't, look, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna go too deep sure. into this, yeah. but uh, but she, we're, we're great. I mean, doesn't Eight sound years. like it on that interview that she gave. I'll be honest. I mean, she's on there multiple seasons. You appeared somewhere around 50 episodes yourself. Um, Did I? Yeah, we counted because we do research around here. <laughs> You're around 50 <laughs> episodes. And I'm always fascinated by any reality show, especially when you are taking people inside your family. And mm. from this interview, it sounds like she left with a lot of hurt. And when you love people, to see them hurt or to see them attacked, has an impact on you, I would think. Well, it, yeah, like I said, it was a, a difficult season for her, but you know, she's a big girl and it's a TV show and she knows exactly what yeah. it is. So she doesn't take it personally. She doesn't take it personally, oh, I like everybody, that. okay? I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Well, I know she's probably gonna talk much more about it later, but we were looking at your career and the leading man in your career. And here you are now with Mayfair, which is everyone is talking about it. Everyone's obsessed. Oh, did good. Did you anticipate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you anticipate what you were walking into? Because it has a cult following of its own. Anything Anne Rice does, but especially this. Well, I think that AMC was aware that Anne Rice has a huge following. You might say. I think that's why yeah. they wanted to move into this universe. So they've bought the rights to all of her stuff. So I imagine over the next few years, you're going to see all of it kind of maybe even cross-pollinate from one show to another. But... Uh, I'm just thrilled to be in it and so grateful to be in the show. Now, your character doesn't have any powers. No. Yeah. 
I, I, um, I'm the, that uncle that everybody has that they don't want to come to Thanksgiving, you know? <laughs> uh, but, but and, and yet when he does show up, he's the life of the party, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's the guy that I'm playing. And I don't have any, like, superpowers, right. but I'm, I'm a very good manipulator, and I have to keep all these witches in line. You know, Which is so job. interesting <laughs> because you have all of these powerful women around Cortland, the character, and then at home, here you are, Harry, surrounded by all of these powerful women, your two beautiful daughters, they're both models and influencers, and Lisa, oh, much like... I know. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, how lucky am I? I'm surrounded by, look at how beautiful all the girls are in my life. I've got a beautiful Rottweiler, too. She's a, uh, you know, one well, of Well, the dog favorites. didn't make the cut in the yeah, photo. Uh, but I mean, when you, Delilah, because I look at my son now, he's three years old, and it seems like it grows so fast. Uh, when you see them as young models and independent women, you think back to them as babies. Like, these are my babies. I, I brought them home in little, you know, well, blankets. And now, look at these ladies. I can't think about that too much. I remember there was a moment when we got rid of the swing set at our house, and it was like childhood's end when all the swing set was taken apart. And now, yeah, now they're traveling all over the world. You know, they're supermodels. What can I say? You know? That's good. Up next, Harry talks about being the off-camera leading man to the most important women in his life, of course. And this movie, 80 for Brady, teaming up with icons Jane Fonda, Rita Moreno, Lily Tomlin, and Sally Field. More with Harry Hamlin after the break. And she knew this was the best a man could get. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is also the one expected. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Mrs. Ledoux, you are a multi-hyphenate. Aren't you the original Mayflower girl? I love you, Todd. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was, that was a long time ago. Well, beauty has no expiration date. No, it does not. That was a clip from the movie 80 for Brady. Harry plays Dan, a two-time Super Bowl champion. From the 80s, in the movie, he develops a strong attraction to Jane Fonda's character, Trish. I love it. Well, it what was, was a mutual attraction, actually. So. What was that chemistry like on set? I read something you said um, being chased around by Jane Fonda was the highlight. Um, that is a highlight. <laughs> imagine, just imagine. So, yeah, no, I'm I, uh, extremely fortunate and so grateful to be in that film. Yeah. And it's a Beautiful movie, too. By and the, way. the lineup, Rita Moreno, Sally Field, right. Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin. I mean, it, I mean, you keep great company. Doesn't get any better than that, right? It does not. It does not. You turned 71 in October. Yeah. That's weird. But it, yeah, I did. <laughs> That's true. You took years, was it four four? 40 years or 30, how many years off did you take? So you said to be present with the girls and oh, to balance. To be with the kids. Uh, when, the, when Lisa got pregnant with Lila, I just said, you know, I'm gonna stay in town now for, yeah. until they leave, until we're an empty nest, because uh, I just wanted to make sure that they had a dad around the whole time. And I knew, I have a lot of friends. Yeah. I have a lot of friends who, um, you know, kept doing their career while their kids were growing up and they were never home. And, uh, and so I decided that, that I was going to take some time off. Well, I was not going to leave L.A., put it that right, way. Right. And I was going to, whatever I was going to do, I was going to do there. I wasn't going to go on location anywhere. And at that moment, which was 1998 around, uh, the business left L.A., went to Chicago yeah. and went to uh, Louisiana, New York, Sydney, Australia, Toronto, and I stayed in L.A., so... You stayed in L.A. Yeah. to be there. It was good, yeah. I love it because you said, um, because of your son, you learned, you learned a different route of parenting, for lack of a better description, based on raising your son? Well, my son grew up in, in Italy, and I was in L.A., and so that informed me that I needed to be with the kids. Yeah. You know, I needed to stay there with them. And it worked out, too, because they're great kids. They're great kids. Yeah. Now, uh, you, uh, people, uh, was it Us Weekly asked you your advice for staying ageless? You said marrying a young girl who keeps you on your toes. Well, that's true. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> So I, 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 I'm watching the move. She is keeping you on your toes and keeping you all busy for sure. I mean, is she, that the secret? She'll just come out. She'll come out of the closet. She's a hairless dance. And she, I said, "What are we going to do?" She says, "Just follow me. Just do this." And like five million people have seen that thing. I mean, what's up with that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you, 
you don't you don't pre-screen the request. You just step in front of the camera, and before you know it, you're doing this move. Yeah, I trust her. You know, should I not? No, you her? should trust her. I trust you her. You should right. trust her. Yeah. But she's not steered you wrong all these years. <laughs> Harry, thank you so much for coming by. We appreciate it so much. And be sure to catch Harry and Ann Rice's Mayfair Witches airing Sundays at 9 p.m. on AMC and AMC Plus and 80 for Brady in theaters February 3rd.